It's just as pretty as I thought it would be. Look at this beautiful silver color. And it came in the most fun box, the original box. You know, it was super hard to get out. Like, let me show you this, this stuff. It was like super wedged in there. I got the footage back and man, like, it just fulfilled every nostalgic My texture desire right I had in a Super 8 film. And I'm, I'm so happy with it. Yeah. My favorite way to be without fear is in the now i'm learning how fast like no thanks no i'm doing just fine one foot in another floating enjoying my freedom singing off key i'm going to show you some of the lessons i learned and the mistakes i made and um, yeah just kind of share my journey of shooting with a super 8 camera one thing that like made me think I may really like um, video. Something inside me came alive when I shot reels and I found, you know, when editing reels, you only really need like three seconds of um, a clip to really make it effective. And it's no different in shooting with my Super 8, I found. S at least like looking back at the footage later, you really don't need more than three seconds of a scene if you shoot it well. And, um, also when you like, you know, you're hitting record, it's going and then you stop it. It actually makes a really nice cut um, between that and like the next thing you're filming. Cause you can really max out those three minutes um, and you can get a lot of footage on there more than you think you can. Um, that's really useful in, in making like a little film. There are like three modes. There's like normal speed mode, there's slow mo, and then there's like super speed. Um, and as you see in some of these, um, some of the footage, like my dog Maple is like flying around like warp speed. She's not really that fast in real life. Um, but it was kind of a happy accident because it kind of added this like fun movement. And same thing with like some of my nephews, they look kind of like crazy, they're moving so fast. One thing I was I was kind of intimidated by was um, the focus. I didn't find that I could just like put my eye up easily to um, the viewfinder here. Um, I actually had to hold it away a bit to really see what I was doing, but it was pretty forgiving. And I found like most of the footage was was in good focus and I don't really have to worry about that too much moving forward. One problem I did have, and I actually lost a lot of frames, like they turned black or mostly black or I get like a hint of what was there. Um, when something is backlit, the metering in the camera isn't built to compensate for that. So um, there's one little like footage we did inside, which there should have been enough light. Um, and, and to give you a comparison, there's a, there's a photo um, my husband took on, um, our Contact 645 film camera and the light is beautiful and perfect for that camera. But with um, the Super 8, we lost like all of it. It's like so black because it is backlit and the camera is just not built um, to meter that way. I try to go up north every year. It's one of our like favorite Christmas traditions to cut down a tree. Um, and it was just a little too dark this day. Like, but I was like set on like using my Super 8. Wanted that memory preserved in that way and Getting there sooner when the sun was a bit higher, um, I think would have helped these frames um, be even better. I just used a color negative film um, made for the Super 8 um, to shoot this footage in. And I also got a tungsten, um, which is made for more of like an indoor setting um, and then a black and white film. So I'm really excited to try out those film stocks. Um, I wanna try this one out again, um, just to see if I can expose it a little bit better and make it a bit prettier. It can take two to four weeks to get it processed here at um, the film lab I used in Toronto. So that's something <laughs> to keep in mind for future, you know, hopefully not time sensitive projects. There's just something about Super 8 film that just draws you in and, and makes you like feel something. You can't instantly hit replay and, and that's actually a really good thing you get it back and you're like, whew, like this is in some ways, like some of my fears came true where I made these mistakes and you can't ignore them. Um, but then it's also like, man, I can't wait to see what I can make the next time.
Watch me dance.